Azul. team either but let's go down to mat number one we're going to see the match between Georgia and the Czech Republic they're on the way already this is the opening contest and it's the Georgians who lead in this contest um, by Yuko Shalva Kardava it is for the Georgians at under 66 kilos. He faces Pavel Petrikov. That's the matchup at the moment. Oh, we got this. Rundown of the team, says David. No, I better not. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I was just going to say, I'll, I'll, to, to give you a rundown of the teams, I'll, I'll give that to David to do. And then I, <laughs> I realised it was George. I thought, I'll save you that one. <laughs> sorry, pal. <laughs> I really am genuinely sorry about that. Right. But we can look at it together. Sh Shalva Kadava, Lasha Shavdatu Ashvili, Zabeda Rekviashvili, Becca Gviniashvili, and Levani Matiashvili. That's the Georgian lineup. I could have done that. <laughs> you could have done that. <laughs> Pavel Petrikov, Jakub Zemenik, uh, Jaromir Jecek, and Michael Horak. That's the lineup for <laughs> the <laughs> Czechs. They, um, they won't have anyone at 90 kilos. So poor old Becca Gviniashvili, who lost his opening conte contest to Kirill Voprosov. He, um, he, he'll be able to sit out. The Czechs then need a lot to go their way. That was hilarious, actually. That was a, sort of an in-house joke. <laughs> I don't think it's very in-house. I think anybody who's seen me butcher the pronunciation of these names fully knows that I don't quite match up to the golden tongue to my right. Well, I suppose I've, I've spent a bit of time there with them. Thanks very much. Matt Deval for your um, your email. We couldn't remember. We we thought that Podolak had, had done well. I can't remember doing that well, but obviously your memory is a lot better than mine. Having caught Pavia, and then ended up ended up losing. She's had a really good a really good World Championships because. You're, you're going to wrap up that whole experience of not just your performance in the individuals, but in the teams. And, you know, to, to overcome Rafaela Silva, the, the way she did there, that was a really good effort from the Polish fighter. Still a Yuko lead for Kadalva against Petrikov. Petrikov looking for the Yoko Sutemi was there, but there's no real movement and he's ended up in Osai Komi. If you consider that match we just saw, Brazil team did not help their overall performance because they did not have a very good world championships in terms of individual medals. I think they had, you know, looks at some big medals and they didn't quite get there. A second Yuko picked up from the Osai Waza and That'll be it for this particular contest. Shalva Kadava winning that one for Georgia. That puts the Georgians up one to nothing. And David's right, it wasn't the, the most successful of world championships for the Brazilians. It's definitely not going to be for the Brazilian women's team, that's for sure. Fal Silva yesterday, he, he ended up on the podium, as we expected him to be, but I think the big shocker was Chibana going out so early on day two. Myra Agui are obviously, you know, pulled it back by, by taking gold in the under 78 kilo category. But then Mendez lost also early on the day one. Yeah, that, that was a big, that was obviously a big disappointment for for them. The, the women's team, you know, you would have thought that the women's team would have been a real threat given that, you see, the difficulty is this 78, under 78 kilo category. You pull that out because My Myra Aguiar is not a genuine heavyweight. So she's out of there. Rochelle Nunes comes in. You've got, so you lose your, your gold medal winner on, on your team. Mind you, You've got Maria Suellen Altherman. She was a silver medalist, but she's got a busted leg, so she's out. So you, you've now lost a gold and a silver medalist. That leaves you with Erica Miranda, who, who took bronze, and either maybe she's injured or she can't make um, the weight a couple of days later, and you have to replace her. But you think it's not that bad because we can replace her with the Olympic champion, Sarah Menezes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> she gets done first fight. So. It didn't work out. The teams didn't work out. The individuals for the women's team did. They came away with three medals, a gold, silver, and a bronze, and a fifth place from Rafaela Silva. So I would say that overall for the women's team, that was a good result. 
for the men, they fell flat. Raf Rafael Silva took bronze, and that really was that. In the meantime, whilst all of that has been going on, Lasha Shavdatovashvili has taken to the mat against Jakub Jiminek. No score yet in this contest. There are three minutes to go. We will stick with the Georgians because they are the current world champions, so we're going to stay looking at them. But the temptation would be over to glance over at mat number two, which, okay. of course, you folks at home could do. Yep, that's the match between the Japanese men and the Mongolian men. We gave the, the line-up, the only thing that we didn't... We got Ebenuma Ono, Nagase, Nishiyama, we weren't too sure about, and, of course, Kamikawa, or... Oh, yeah. Shabdato Ashvili showing off his skills there a little bit. The Olympic champion. And uh, Kamikawa in the in the plus 90. As it's so it's interesting that under 90 they put Nishiyama instead of Baker and Kamikawa in plus 90 instead of Shichinoe. But th those could could change round, I'd, I'd imagine, because you can substitute right. people. And you, so. Well, you also got Nakaya who could, yeah. you know, change out with Ono. With Ono. The um, Mongolian team, well, I'd imagine that they decided this is a bridge too far and just rested Sanjigal, Hashbatar, and Naidan Tufshinbaya, because they could have made up that, that lot. That could have been the team. But it's Davidoz, Ganbatar, Nyamsurin, Hlafkravsurin, and uh, Namsa, uh, Namsajav. That's the Mongolian team. David's going to keep an eye on that whilst we keep an eye on the Georgians and the Czech Republic. Rosari the lead and 1 0 in the match. You know, we talk about Rainier and how many championships he's won, and he was really challenged yesterday. But uh, you wonder how many Ebinuma has in, in, in left in his body. But he wants to get to Rio, that's for sure. So that would be one more world championship. Well, he's just gone over there. <laughs> I've jinxed him, I have. That's on the, that's on the adjoining mat. He trails by Yuko. Davidor to Merkelag has just thrown him and then if he knew it just came back. David's gonna keep us informed of that. We'll um, keep an eye here on that number one. If you followed us on the individual ones, you've probably seen when we had a couple of dinners on the couch, we have a, a really nice position here, a perch where we can oversee all the mats much easier than the past. That was a win for Lasha Shavdatovashvili of Georgia. Every note has taken care of Dajdor. That kind of stoked him up, didn't it? Going over <laughs> that Yuko. You should have seen him after the win. He was hopping around and pumping his chest. You don't see that in individuals with Ebinuma. This is a part of the excitement, again, of the team competition. Shepardato really takes it. Right. 
<laughs> a lot of shaking going on. Two to nothing. And the Georgians leading as Zabeda Rekviashvili takes to the mat against. Sorry, against Yarome Yechek. As I recall, Yechek had a respectable showing in the individual, so I think he took a match or two. If I'm not mistaken. You are not mistaken. Yaromir Jacek had two wins. Clara Alejandro of Argentina fell to him in the first round, and then Enrico Parlati, the Italian. He then lost out, Jacek that is, lost out to Der Van Tichelt of Belgium in the third round. Let's look at Hizagaruma. From there was some nice movement there. And then Ashley was on the other side. The Ashley Parai. Rekviash really picked up a shido for passivity there. The nice thing about this for Rekviashvili is that he doesn't have to fight someone on this occasion who's normally at 81 because Yechek fought at 73 kilos and the Georgian who has in the past fought at 73 kilos is fighting here up at 81. It's kind of nice, a little cushion there. Exactly. But he finds himself behind by two penalties here. Going for a big twisting Senage. Looked like Pietri Loic there for a second. Here's David McFall. And so with 245 left on the board. White's behind by a bit, but a feeling that things are going to change quickly. Georgia with a comfortable lead in this match, two to nil. Wonder if the checks are a little groggy this morning. After I'm sure there was some celebrations after Lucas Pachelix win at under 100. As that was a nice look at Stemi Waza there by Blue. Didn't quite score. Close to Yuko. Meantime, I met two. Ono has thrown for Ipon putting the Japanese up 2-0 in that match. And then finally, Georgian gets to the board with a Yuko. So that takes care of those two penalties. Or at least makes them a little bit less significant. So we may get it. Are we going to get a third here? No. Fiashvili still leading by that Yuko. How are things looking on map two with Japan and Mongolia, David? 2-0 after the first two matches. 
So Japan is definitely in the driver's seat. Both Ono and Minuma won by Ippon. Okay. Two to nothing in the match between Japan and Mongolia. And here, same score, two to nothing, Georgia over the Czech Republic. In this contest, it's the Georgian Zabeda Rekviashvili leading by a single Yuko with 30 odd seconds left to go. Rolls in there with a bit of Stemiwaza, but not real effective. That was that old Chigari. Check att attempting the Tomoyanagi there. That didn't come off. So Georgia continues to wind their lead, taking out the majority of the contests. Well, it's a good opening for the Georgians in defense of their World Team Championship title. Can't say I gave the Czech Republic much of a chance there. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid to say I didn't give them any, any chance at all. I know it's not. I suppose it's not nice to um, put that out there. May maybe well, it's too late to take it back now, but... <laughs> well. You call, know, you, you call you, the way you see him. It, well, first, it's an obvious. First of all, they don't have a really genuine um, heavyweight. With the greatest of respect to Horak. Right. Well, I mean, we're going to see why that. Not, why not put Kapelik in there? Well, that that would have been my thought. He would have. I think he would have given Matiashvili or Okrashvili a real run. For, for their money and probably beaten them. We've seen him win at plus 100 anyway. Nobody to take on Becker Gviniashvili. And here now is Michal Horak against Livani Matiashvili. Let's see how this one turns out. It's four to nothing at the moment because Gviniashvili didn't have to compete against anyone. So that was a walkover. Yeah, you can see some real weight differential here. Meanwhile, Nagase has continued the all Nippon performance against the Mongolians, this time with uh, Nyamsonen falling to Nagase. Is that Matias really just throwing that left Uchimata? It was a good look yeah. there he had. Bad. Just a little bit more yeah. hopping, circular hopping direction there, right? A little Ken Ken. <laughs> and that looked very Georgian like. He didn't control at the at the landing, but Well he's he's on the board with Yuko anyway. Big body womp. A 
Matiashvili was uncomfortable with that particular grip. Broke there, but that's not a little. That's not a bad little effort from Horak there. Yeah, to try and go right-sided with that. Satemi so was a almost good unsettled. Yeah, good effort. Yeah. Almost unsettled, Matiashvili. That had Yuko potential on it. Yeah. Nice low tire Toshi from Matiashvili, and he follows that up with Kezagatami. Left sided Kezagatami from the Georgian heavyweight. That looks pretty good. That's solid. He was not coming out of that. Five to nothing then. The Georgians over the Czechs and the Georgians move in to the quarterfinal. They'll face Kazakhstan. Sorry, yeah, quarter, uh, quarterfinal. They'll face Kazakhstan. A good start for the champions. time no major scores in the uh, Japanese under 90 kilo match just a couple penalties to nothing the final score well we can go to map number two then and have a look and see what it is that's been occupying David's attention 